Hi guys, I'm Renee Zoe. Hi guys, I'm Naomi Yasmin. Um, thank you for coming back to listen to us. Today we're going to be having a little bit of a chit chat about Brexit and how it's affected us. So how's it affected you? So I feel like with Brexit, I feel like a lot of people are getting a bit too brave nowadays. Yes. Like mm. on Twitter, did you see that video of like the man and the woman on the tube? No, what video? Oh my gosh. So basically they were like having this sort of fight. I don't, it was so strange. Yeah, but they were basically talking about like, the woman was just like, oh, like you're not from London. Um, then there was another situation. Did you see the, do you, do you not go on, go on Twitter? I try to know. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Twitter. I've seen a few videos of, and I to be honest, all the racism ones, I just kind of, just kind of. Yeah, stay no, of clear course. Of like, it's so bad to like take that energy in. But literally, there was another one on Twitter. You must have seen this one. It was like on the news as well, mm. of like a group of people that were talking, I think Portuguese, mm. and then there was a woman behind walking her dog. Have you not seen that no, video? No, I've not seen it. Okay, well, that's two videos that you need to I watch. I need to watch. That. And two videos this. as well that are basically just like so shocking because I feel like since Brexit, now that a lot of English people and people that live in like England and that, that voted, mm. I feel like they think that now that they've got their opinion across on what they actually mm. want, that it's okay for it's them okay. to kind of say things now. And it's yes. not, like it's horrible because to be honest with you, I don't really know where they got that verdict from. Mm. I personally, everyone that I've spoken to has said that Brexit's awful, but it's like, you must be lying because the votes came <laughs> in and do you know exactly. what I mean? Because yeah. I think obviously London, obviously we voted to stay in. Yeah. However, one thing I've realised is people were very misinformed about the Brexit. Yeah. People who voted to leave were misinformed. They were misinformed in the fact that, oh, okay, because it's Brexit, um, now all these people who are coming in the country, they won't be allowed to come in. No, yeah. but there's free movement of people. They can still come in. Um, and it's because it, it, the thing is, I kind of understand why people voted, if I'm honest, to leave the EU, mm -hmm. simply because the major influx was was having a tremendous kind of impact on things in England. For instance, the NHS was mm -hmm. inundated. For instance, so when you go to the hospital, it's kind of like your waiting times are way longer. Mm. If you were due for surgery, it may be put back months, yeah. simply because they're like, we don't have enough staff so to deal people. with this. There's too many mm. people. So I think there was something sanctions needed to be put in place. Yeah, definitely. I think as well, like with the jobs, like a lot of people yeah. say like, oh, there's no jobs. They came because... and take my, my yeah. job. Well, I'm sorry, are you a trained doctor? And they came and took your job. Yeah, it's it's really bad. Like I feel like racism, people just want to be racist, but they're yes. just using these like It's an excuses. excuse. It's yeah. an excuse to be now openly racist and openly say, oh, but it's my opinion. Yeah. I don't want all these people in my country. They're there. Like, First of all, it's not your country. Did that's you find thing. it? Did you name it? Did, like, that's no. my thing. And my yeah. thing is, like, so that's why I understand some of the frustration, like, oh, but there's all these different cultures. And my thing is, there's one thing that I kind of, I understand, because I think back in the olden days, if I'm honest, like when I was young, mm. um, and when there was less um, Eastern European, like with all the wars and the more Eastern European people came, yeah. I think it was great to kind of like learn people's cultures. But I think one thing that kind of pissed the people off from reading online and also looking at the news, they were saying that people were coming over to England and they weren't embracing the English culture per se, like they weren't speaking English or like, so it's kind of, they, and some of them, I have to admit, they, they made no kind of, no kind of a, um, move to learn English. It's yeah. kind of like, no, why do we need to learn English? I don't know, because we're in England. Mm. Like, I'm not saying that in a rude way, but it's kind of like, I lived in Ghana for three years. So when I lived in Ghana, I made an effort to learn the main Ghanaian language. Mm. Cause it's kind of like, where am I? Mm. Like, it's kind of like, I had to respect their culture. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'm gonna, yes, I'm still gonna speak English, because they speak English as well, mm. but I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna make a conscious effort yeah. to speak to you. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. I think that it's all about being able to really respect that yes. like, there's other nationalities and it's not just like, you're not just gonna find English people in England. Like that's so, 2000 and yeah, in every country yeah. now there is influx of different people so i understand people like but england and america we have a major influx because we're the first world like we're we're the top countries people want to come here yeah. yes it's true 
I'm sorry, but it's something that I think that we're just going to have to adapt with. It's like learn, like sink or swim. And right now, the way England is going, it's become kind of like we're sinking. There is no, there's no law, there's no order to things anymore. Because obviously the politicians don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. Um, and to me, it's open racism. And you, you're having the people, what was it? There was a guy at the train station and he was pushing people in the trucks. What, what was this? What it was, was this? It's been all over the news. He was pushing people in the tracks. He's been arrested. He pushed, he pushed three people what? into tracks. So you know when you stand too close? And sometimes, I think my sister as well, she was telling me one day, she was stand, stood at the DLR station, all saints. And then she said there was like an Eastern European guy just came and was saying to her, go back to your country, da 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 da. And then no she was just thinking, but, but hold up. One, you're not English, so, huh? Yeah, this is literally like, and it's kind of like place. Like everyone needs to feel comfortable here. Yeah, yes. Everyone's welcome. And I'm like, it's become like the, the norm to be harassed. Yeah. It's kind of like if someone said, oh, they call you a swear word or they call you um, something to do with your colour, mm. like a racial slur. It's kind of like, well, you know, we just have to deal with it because this is the New England. No, it's not. This yeah. is not. I'm, my thing is, is one thing that I feel like people don't stand up for things. Especially I've, what yeah, I've seen. especially because you know the videos that I mentioned as well. There's always other people around. And, and they're, they're just there with their stock camera. Up, like, yeah. oh, and they come on, once the event's all done, oh, you're right, love. What? Yeah, but even then, sometimes they don't. Yeah, it's just people like, are just too frightened to get involved. Exactly. But what do you think about Brexit? Because a lot of people, young people, they said mm. that they didn't really understand it, so they didn't vote. Yes. My problem was there was a lack of proper information on channels mm. for instance on the news if you went on like the bbc news if you went on like all the news channels as well as website news as well as the papers they weren't actually telling you what brexit meant mm. what leaving the eu meant or what staying in the eu meant mm. um and they were twisted it they basically made the whole thing about immigration like to say oh yeah we don't want all these people coming up and taking jobs yeah. and taking benefits no brexit actually had nothing to do with that that's free movement of people mm. and most of you people you don't want to have a visa to go to a different country mm. which is what i kind of like it's kind of like you you still want to be able to go there but yeah. you think you're more superior so they shouldn't be able to come here but it's kind of like that's not the way it works so i just think there was a lot of misinformation about the Brexit. People were misinformed, so either they just didn't vote or they voted for the wrong thing, or in, in some people's eyes. And then after they realised what Brexit actually was, they're like, can we just have a revote? And I'm like, you can't have a revote because therefore you've it's taken late. you've taken away yeah. democracy as well. Democracy is not having a revote until you get the best possible answer for you. That's come on. Yeah. That's silly. It's kind of like you've made a decision now. So my thing is now we're we're leaving the EU. Just let's get on with it, let's leave and What's happening? What's happening? Basically, let's embrace it. Now. What What are your I thoughts think, on it? What um, I was going to ask you a question. Like, what do you think we're going to miss, and what do you think we'll regret, like not having? Okay, I think we're going to miss for one most of the benefits of being in the EU. For instance, all the funds that we actually get. Loads of places in. To be honest, it's really weird. The places that voted to leave are most of the places actually benefit the most from being part of the European yeah. Union. They're the people that actually got the most money and the most, um, the most funds mm. from, the, from EU. And also, those are the places where we have factories. Mm. For instance, um, what was it? It was in the car. I think it was a new Nissan or something. Mm. The, um, I think it was Nissan. One of their factories... They're like, sorry, we're not going to have the new, um, the new model. It can't be built here anymore because it's going to cost too much because now you're leaving the EU. Yeah, there's a lot of situations like that. So Especially I'm just like, with food as well. Yeah, you've just lost jobs. Mm. Food, bringing food in, you're going to have less variety and it's going to cost you more. Yeah. Simply because so far we haven't drawn up, so let's f cross our fingers, we haven't drawn up the trade agreements. They, they mm. can't make a... Because my thing is, it's like now England wants all the benefits of being in the EU mm. without being in the EU. It's, yeah. That's not how it's going to work. Our things are going to be more expensive. Travel, everything, the price of everything is just going to shoot up, basically. Because yeah. we have... England doesn't grow or manufacture many things here. Mm. Most of our things are ex is, is imported. Yeah, so it's and they knew like, that. That's why they should have thought about that before they made that decision. And they should have made it more widely known that England is an island. Yeah. And I think another problem we're having, obviously, like not, I think, what, what was it? There was the one country in, um, in, in the United Kingdom that voted to remain in the EU. The whole, I think, it was, was it Scotland or Ireland? I forgot. Mm. Someone, and it's kind of just like, oh, I'm sorry, you guys, you're stuck with us. Yeah. It's a real shame. I think that people just really need to be mindful before they mm. make these decisions. Some people don't make the decision at all. Yes. Like, I keep saying they because I voted to remain. Yeah. But I think people just need to kind of like wake up and realise that this is what's happened now. Like a lot of people are blaming Theresa May, but at the end of the day, they voted. So. And my thing is, she wasn't even in power. Let's not forget that. Mm. That was David Cameron that came and messed us up, shook the boat, tipped the boat over. And it's like, bye guys, I'm going to exit stage left. 
wasn't great. <laughs> that <killed> me. <laughs> it was like Theresa May with a little funky dance. She was like, oh, take over. Oh my guys. gosh, please, she needs to stop dancing. Oh. Her. Every time I see a video, her robot, her robot. <laughs> it's like, please stop doing that. Please stop, please. Yeah, I don't know. I think that people really just need to be mindful. Mm. And actually, I think a lot of people need education on what the yes. voting system means and what it is to vote. Yes, and I think, I think the whole Brexit has kind of highlighted for us the impact media has had on us and the fact that we now don't do research. Yeah. We don't do research because if somebody actually sat down and looked at, okay, what are the, e what are the benefits of being in the, in the, the European Union? Mm. It, you probably most of, I feel like most people would have voted to stay. And also, I think another problem we slightly had, which I know this may sound controversial, letting people over a certain age vote. I'm sorry, you're messing up our lives. <laughs> you're what wrong. age do you think it should be? Honestly, I'm going to stand a bit. I think um, if you're above 60, if you're above 55, it's really not affecting you because you're, you're the people, no offence. Sit you're, my tea, let me sit my tea. You're going to retire early. Yeah. Let's be honest, they're going to retire early. Brexit, you know, we're going to, people don't realise, we are going to have to work for longer. Right now, the retirement age, for them, for people who are there right now, they're in their 50s and their 40s, their retirement age is something like 55, mm. or some of them have gone to like, um, like 60. Our ones are going to be at 70, thanks to voting, to leave. Yeah. We're going to have to work longer. We were benefiting from, um, we were taking funds, and that's for the retirement fund, we were putting it in that, that's why people could retire at a certain mm -hmm. age. Like the funds, the money keeps going down and down, and you think that they're going to put more, oh, okay, we've just lost this big couple millions, we're going to give you more so you can retire early. No, we're not. Mm -hmm. What do you think about like people that, sorry, I forgot that question, <laughs> I forgot what was going to ask. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we've met, we've done a bit from our topic. Yeah, like because what was it talking about? Race, more racism. Yeah, no, but it's how Brexit's affecting us. Yeah. So I think yeah, Brexit is affecting us a lot of ways. If I'm honest, so it, one, my thing is the main thing is for me the racism and the open opinions that they think it's okay to be openly racist because yeah. I'm showing my opinion. I can have my soapbox. If you don't like it, don't listen. It's kind of like no, it's not okay to be racist. It's not okay to be discriminatory. It's, it's just not okay. Yeah. It, having your own opinions is, is fine, but I just think voicing your own p opinions, it's like, it's kind of like this whole politically correct thing. Oh, I can say it because now we've got it out in the open that we don't want people yeah, like definitely. this in our country. And it's just like, people oh. are definitely using it as an excuse. Yeah, it, it's an excuse to, to just think, oh no, I don't like this. To people. be disrespectful. Yes. Yeah. And my thing is, I just think there's less respect for people. Here. And as well, as I say, it was the whole, the whole, the media thing. I think Brexit should have just taught people that do not listen to everything the media is putting out there. Yeah. Do your own research. We were so controlled by the media. The media basically voted, told us to vote to leave. Yeah. And 90% of us were like, they're right. Yeah, that's what they we did. We need to vote to leave. And now the papers, they're not really take, talking about Brexit anymore. Mm. If you realise, most of oh, we can't come to a decision. The government can't come to a decision. Well, I'm sorry, media outlets, you help the government come to a decision mm. for us, if that yeah. makes sense. You, 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 you kind of like, not, not brainwashed us, but you kind of like, if you keep telling, if you keep putting points on a certain direction, eventually they're going to start going in that direction. Yeah, I agree. I was going to ask you what you think about the media again, because recently there was the Liam Neeson incident. Yeah. Ooh. And it's very, very, oh, it's just a horrible situation. I, yeah, I, well, all, I, to be honest, when I first, I read it and I, and I listened to it, I was, a, I was a bit like, wow, I was appalled. Yeah. Honestly, the whole really Liam Neeson thing. Because uh, those of you ha who haven't heard about it, so basically, Liam Neeson, Li sorry, Liam ah. Again. So, for those of you who haven't heard about it, Liam Neeson, he was in the news, I can't say his name properly, sorry about that, he was in the news um, because he's, he's getting into training for his new role and he decided to do character acting. So one of his friends actually was raped by a black man. Mm. So then what he done was go into a, the streets with a shank and he said that he was looking for any black bastard, I might have to beat that out, to, um, to, to approach him simply so he can stab them and he kill can just them. and yeah. kill them. He said to kill them. And that is where his words, he's looking for a black bee to go and just kill. Yeah. And my thing, so he wasn't looking for the perpetrator of the crime. He was looking for any black man, because he, it's kind of like, you've now, you've now painted us all with one brush, if that makes sense. I think that's the problem. It's kind of like, okay, so my thing is, oh, because there's one white serial killer, we should now go and call all the white people. Because there's one, one Asian bomber, we should now go and call all the Asian bombers. It's kind of mm. like this, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's kind of playing as this new stereotype of like, oh, one, with ones like that, they're all like that. Yeah. And I was kind of just disgusted, to be honest. Like, he even like said it. 
in my thinking. It's one thing to think it because you have to realize when you have such a big platform and you openly say these things, people are going to be like, to be honest, I understand where it's coming from. Yeah, he was right to do that. Why should he feel? And he didn't actually apologize for wanting to do that. Mm. That's one thing. He, he, he tried to explain why he'd done it. Yeah. But there was no apology. It was like, well, yeah, but some, some black bee done it, so then I have to go... Well, he was trying to justify it, wasn't he? And yeah. my, it's not justifiable. Yeah. It is not justifiable. It's justifiable, yes, to be angry. And just be like, yeah, to be honest, I, I just went out looking for trouble. But then to just say, it's the, for me, it's the words he used. Yeah, and the fact that he actually then tried to basically say that if it was any race, if it was any person, he would have felt the exact same way. But then why did he like make my it thing so is, specifically you about You can't that say person? that because yeah. my thing is, that's not what happened though. Let's just, let's deal with facts. Yeah. What happened is someone you knew was raped by a black man. So you decided to go out and kill any black bastard that tried to step to you and you went into a bar you went into bars looking for trouble yeah like it is it, that's 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 kind of scary if that makes sense yeah. those that's how innocent black people are killed that's how innocent people of all races are killed yeah it, it's kind of like with the whole terrorism thing when when all the bombers were doing their stuff and people were like oh we might now must target all of the muslims yeah what, but what do you think about the way the media is actually portraying because i haven't really seen the media say anything like terrible they about don't him. care yeah honestly the media they all have their own agendas every paper had their own agendas most news outlets had their own agendas it's like when i was studying we only i only read news from certain outlets yeah like, like stay away from the sun That's yeah what they need to, stay to be honest from. i was just al jazeera people were like what they have the most truest news and yeah. the news that they put, they literally just put the news. They don't put, oh, this war impoverished town was mm. bombed by this. They're facts. Black. It's like, no, the town was yeah. bombed. Just just say what it is, mm. if that makes sense. And I just feel like the, the media outlets, are, they, they demonise who they want to demonise. Yeah. And they make people seem like victims sometimes when they're not victims, mm. if that makes sense. Like, oh, this, this poor serial killer, this good boy mm. went on a killing spree and killed 13 people. Let's take away the word good boy and let's put the word this boy went on a killing spree. Or yeah, or it was like, oh, this, there was a gang of this. No, let's put three youths went and done this. Don't call them a gang. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, definitely. It's the whole media brainwashing. I think as we go back to Brexit, that's what they've done. The media kind of brainwashed people into thinking a certain way mm. and people didn't go and do their research. So yes, they thought that way. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, we'll have another topic for you next week. Let us know your thoughts. of so what do you want us to talk about? What opinions do you have on certain topics? And let's just discuss together. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi guys. Hi guys, I'm Amy. I'm Renee Zoe. Wait. Hello. Do you mean this way? Oh, that's better. The light was in our eye. Hi guys. So we're here today. We're going to be talking about interracial relationships. Oh, look at all the waves. Hi.